Hello. Uh, just going to do a quick look at video. Seems like I've done quite a few recently, but um, this one's just going to show you some pipes that I actually smoke, rather than the pipe drawer of uh, I don't know hell that needs restoring. So uh, I'll do. Um, just uh, quit the camera, and I'll show you uh, my Vishima cigars if you if you're feeling like it. But I think we'll just stick to pipes. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the pipes that I actually smoke. And there's a few others that I've got on the on the side. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is my pipe shelf, I suppose you could call it. Um, everything you could really want. Let's see, what have we got? I suppose the first thing that I should show you is something you've already seen before, which is my Peterson Donegal Rocky. Um, what else have we got? Let's make. Uh, my Savinelli Milano Deluxe. It's a really nice lightweight pipe. This uh, sort of a bent. It's not quite a billiard. It's a little bit appled. I'd say. But, uh, I think. Oh, I'm gonna stand up because it's easier. So these are. Additional to the ones I've got downstairs. Uh, what have we got here? Another Pete. A system standard. Nice rustication. Uh, so I don't, I don't really smoke this pipe at all. I don't know why. I don't think I'm really that fussed about it. Uh, let's find another one that I actually smoke. What's this right there? Mm, yeah. Uh, this is my, one of my few straight pipes that I actually smoke. This is a Macintosh. Uh, Royal Black, the bought off eBay oh, about three or four years ago now. It was brand new, it's quite a nice pipe. 15 quid, I think that was. Uh, what's this? This is a Stanwell, this is one I don't smoke. This is a Stanwell Royal Prince, it's quite a nice design. And then to go with that, I've got a Royal Prince. Freehand as well. Uh, I've got a nice little Ben Wade that I've restored. Sort of acorn shape. And the only problem with this stand is everything just sort of falls off it. But well, again, another pipe that I've bought that I haven't smoked or done anything with. This is uh, Stanwell Rhodesian. Uh, I've had someone that ask about whether I'm going to sell this or not, but I can't. I'm in half a mind whether to get rid of it or not. So that's on that rack. Here, this is a newly acquired item, um, and one that's probably going to be for sale. This is a Dunhill Shell Briar that I think is from 1942. Uh, quite rare, uh, a war pipe, because Briar was in short supply. So, yeah, apparently these are quite rare. But the stamp on the bottom, although it's really faded, I've, I've dated it to that far. So I'm going to see what... Uh, I've contacted Alan at Reborn Briar to see what he reckons on that one. It's a nice pipe though. Uh, another one, another recent acquisition is this Buxtraquin, uh is it Fate Main? Uh, I'm led to believe that means handmade in the French. Yeah. This is a Bari pot, or Bari, I don't know, it's from the Opal range, it's quite a nice pipe, I'm tempted to keep that one as well. Uh, I'm sure you've already spotted the mirrors, I'll just open up this one, so I've got one that's a Dr. Watson with a nice acrylic stem actually, I really like that. That's also one I'm probably going to keep. I smoked some Condor in that. Not not something I really liked. So I'm going to smoke something else. So, another cased mirror. Um, sort of like a Sultan or a pirate head. Again, quite similar. It's got a bit more colouring on it, that one. What have we got in here? This is a Gourd Calabash. In good condition. Okay, let's have a quick look up here. Here's one you'll see me smoke before. 
This is my Peter and Sherlock Holmes strand. And then we've got a Peter's Pete Mere. Um a really nice mirror. I like the shine that the mirror's got on the top here. It's really lovely. Obviously just where someone's been rubbing at it probably. But um yeah, probably do with a bit more coloration, but it's a sterling silver band, mid sixties pipe puffer, dated the Hallmark too. So yeah. It's quite old. It's in good nick, needs a bit of work done on the stem, but other than that, polishing it'll be all good. So what have we got to here? Uh, this is a Savonelli pipe, an Erica Fan. Apparently, it's one down from the Punto Oro range. It's nice, it's got some nice grain on it. They're not going to get the next pipe out. That's a, as you can see, that's a church warden. Uh, next, I've got oh dear, my only other Dunhill, uh, which is a root briar. Uh, not a rare root briar, but it is in good condition, just needs a bit of a clean. Uh, I think I could probably keep that one. A little white spot there. Next, I've got two Buster Queen Ventos. I've not seen these before. They're almost like camouflage. Quite interesting. Uh, acrylic stems. The other one's the same, but it's uh, straight. There we go. It's almost like a volcano kind of coming out of it. But someone has drilled this. I don't know if you can see it. Put a hole in there. Don't know why. In the stem. This is a devil's ants or ants. I don't know what you're saying. Called. Made out of pear wood. By my good friend John, uh, John New Pipes made that. It's a really nice little pipe, one of my favourites. What have we got next? I've uh, just got a Stanwell. Uh, I don't know what it is. A Stanwell 03, rusticated billiard. It's quite a nice pipe. Tempting to keep that as well. Next, I have what I call the Beast. I don't think I've ever seen such a big pipe. I mean, we'll compare this to the to the shell briar. It's ginormous. Uh, cherry wood pipe. Unfortunately, whatever it said on the bottom, I can't read anymore. But uh, giving it a little shine up. I suppose I should really smoke it because it is giant. But it would be like an all day smoke. Next, I've got Stanwell Hans Christian Anderson, which is in amazing condition. Bought in the job lot with the root briar, which was just listed as a church warden. Obviously, you still have the extra church warden stem, but you can swap in and out with this one. Uh, so, yeah, yet to give that a little go. It's a lovely, lightweight pipe, um, just beautiful. Right. Uh, when you think I haven't actually got any more pipes, well, you'd actually be wrong. I'll just quickly, there's my tobacco shelf. A few bits and pieces up there. That's there's my humidor. There's another humidor down there. And that cooler's full of cigars. Right, what have we got here? Um, got some uh, random pipes. This is a little barling. Uh, with a brass brass ring around it, it's quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna get this one out. This is a big Ben pop, no, I don't know, a volcano type pipe. These are, these are all stuff that I'm gonna get rid of. Apart from this next one, that's my natural selection um, bulldog. Just a cheap random pipe there, a Jima, and this is a nice, I think this is a Butch Chukwin uh, Mirage. I think that's really lovely, that pipe. Nice acrylic stem, 
It's been really nicely finished. So that's that. Two more up here. Uh, this is one I know nothing about really, this next one. Oh, yeah. This is a Peterson Emerald. Uh, I've never seen a Peterson Emerald before. I presume it just relates to this old band around it. But it's in pretty good condition, just needs a bit of a clean up. And then, oh. Uh, ben Wade. Uh, what's it say? Ben Wade Selected Grain 39 Pot Style Pipe. I think this might be called a Liverpool Stem or a Dublin, I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will tell me. Anyway, there you go. That's all my sort of upstairs smokable pipes. Oh dear. And then I've got a, I've got a couple of others, but uh, some quite a few cigars in there. So yeah, that's uh, that case is just from some other interests, a bit of Star Wars. That case is just from uh, IKEA. Anyway, uh, that's all my smoking and pipes. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and. Uh, See you for the next one. Bye for now.